Since 1972, COC's EMT program has nurtured thousands of students. Right here in Towsley Hall, students participate in an intense program. You can expect a lot of work and a lot of stress. We only have one semester to get you ready to work on an ambulance. Coming from just straight off the street, no medical background, that's a whole lot to absorb. So it's a very fast paced class. As one of the few schools in the country to have multiple simulators assist their curriculum, COC prepares their students on how to administer basic emergency services in simulated real life scenarios. One of the things we try to teach our students during the course of the semester is how to manage the stress of the class because if they have those stress management tools and resources and those become habits for them, they're better able to manage stress when they actually get out on the street and they're taking care of real patients. The skills they learn not only make a positive impact on their lives, but to the community that it has cultivated throughout the years, it means so much more. This program is their home. We're their home base. They don't just come back to help. A lot of them do. Uh, most of the skills instructors that you've been seeing and talking to today are graduates of our program. And they're happy to come back after they graduate and help future students in the program. They help us with our orientation. They go to the student study groups on their own time and help them study and help them succeed in the program. Students get to build a foundation for their future, all while being a part of a storied program. The second oldest program in the county. And LA County is known as the home of EMS. A lot of you know, EMS started here in LA County. So to be the second oldest program in LA County and have been faithfully producing EMT graduates for 50 years, that's, that's mind blowing. It, it's a huge impact to the community. It's hard to walk into a fire station anywhere in LA County and not find a COC EMT graduate. The celebration takes place this Thursday at COC's Culinary Education Plaza from 9 to 10.30 a.m. For Canyons News, I'm George Camacho.